What is going on and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today's video is something very different. I've never done anything like this before. It's gonna be a sneaker battle with Chance. Before we hop into this, let me kind of explain the rules that we have in place. I'm gonna be coming with two categories of sneakers. He's gonna be coming with two categories as well. And we'll come together and make a fifth category so it's fair for everybody. Are you cool with those rules, Chance? Yes, sir, let's run it. So for my first category, I'm gonna go with the best gifted sneaker. What about you, Chance? What do you got for your first category? And my category is gonna be the best collab sneaker. And then for my Second category, I'm going to have to say best throwback or older sneaker, if that makes sense. I'm dubbing on that one. All right, and then I'm going to go best OG colorway. And for this last one, we kind of already discussed it beforehand. We kind of just want to go with our favorite sneaker in our collections. And you guys can also decide at home who won this challenge. To settle it and see who just wins the sneaker battle altogether. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, that's fair. So I'm going to start it out with a bang. We're going to be going with our best throwback sneaker. I think we got him beat. Three, two, one, reveal. Yo, you put out the 85, which I do think is probably going to be everyone's favorite in this one. But if you do have that soft spot for like this era of sneakers, this one might just win for you. But how do you feel about it? I definitely respect that. I think that we both kind of have a fair shot. It just depends on what kind of like sneaker head, I guess you are and what your grails are and stuff like that. But in my opinion, I think this is a W for me, but I'm not the deciding judge. That's true. Respectfully, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably even going to give you the W in this category. Knowing you just copped the shoe, I probably shouldn't have chose this category, but hey, let's move on to the next one. What is your category, Chance? So I'm going to be going with the best collab sneaker, okay? Go grab them. Now that we're back, we're going to show in three, okay? Three, two, one. Whoa. Personally for me, I have to go the Off-White 4. I think this is definitely Virgil's best collaboration. So if we're going over best collaboration, I mean, I could have went Travis Scott Lowe's, but this is just one of the best collaborations of all time, in my opinion. In my personal opinion, when you think of the term Off-White Jordan, you're thinking of this sneaker right here, or you're thinking of the Chicago. You're thinking of the 10 Off-White Jordans. This, this is it in my opinion. And the fact that we both pulled out off-white is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. The fact that we both pulled out off-white says something about Virgil's creative ability, in my opinion. For us both to pull out off-whites, I don't think that's unfair. This one's probably gonna be a toss-up in the votes. I, I honestly don't know who got this one. Virgil did something that nobody else has ever done. Whenever people do collab sneakers, they kind of just change the colors on the actual sneaker themselves. Virgil literally dissected this shoe and put it back together. But yeah, Virgil, unmatched. Uh, you can call me a hype beast. I don't care. Yeah, this has so far been a pretty close match in my opinion. And for my second category, we're going to go with best gifted sneaker. So this could be a sneaker a brand gave to you. You were gifted as a birthday present or something like that. As long as the sneaker was somehow some way free to you, someone gave it to you for free, it qualifies. So don't pull out any cheats, Chance. Cheats? I don't know. I just feel like you're slimy and you'll figure something out. All right. You ready to go pull him? Well, there's no way he wins this. Three. Two, one, show them. So I have about probably four pairs of sneakers that have been gifted to me. But the reason I chose these was because this was the sneaker that got me into sneakers. This was the first pair of retro Jordans I had ever gotten. I got these in sixth or seventh grade and uh, my dad got these for me for Christmas off eBay and it was a big deal. My dad was so mad that he had to spend $200 on a worn sneaker on eBay. This is before StockX go all that, but yeah. This is my very first retro Jordan ever. And this shoe is so iconic with the fresh prints, with everything. This this shoe had its own era, okay? Chance, you know what that sounds like to me? What? It sounds like a sob story to get you to win this category, man. But hey, I said, I said, hey, I, I told him not to cheat. I don't think he cheated. He might've helped himself out a little bit just telling you guys a story, but th that story doesn't matter. Nothing compares to literally getting gifted an Ultra Boost from Atlanta United, which is the soccer team in Atlanta, which has also won championships in their league. And they even sent me like an entire special box with it as well too. I've never worn these. I probably never will. It's just insane to get gifted a sneaker with a special box by your hometown soccer team. So that definitely has to be this one for me. So really do appreciate them for these, but I think I got you beating this one, but with your little sob story, they'll probably just side with you once again. And I actually had a little honorable mention for this category as well too. I actually was gifted one of one, like handmade. I made these Puma custom sneakers with Nesquik and Puma at SneakerCon. 
So this one definitely means a lot to me as well too because it's literally my own sneaker. We have an honorable mention for this one as well too because I feel like we both get gifted a bunch of good pairs and I mean, let's just show something off. Pull out an honorable mention for us. These are a good one. I have a bunch. I just don't want to dig them out of my massive stack in my closet, but this is like kind of the vibe I'm going for. Mischief, I have these. I have the wavy babies. You can pop those up on the screen. Uh, the wavy babies and these are probably two of the like cooler out of the box type of sneakers that I've gotten uh, gifted. Yeah, and shout out to every brand or every company or anybody that we ever work with that gives us anything for free like that. We do appreciate that. And that's why I wanted to just throw an honorable mention in for this one because we get sent a lot of stuff and it's kind of hard to pick that one piece. What's your last category, Chance? Let's see what you got and let's see if I can close it out and take a W here real quick. All right, I'm gonna go with best OG colorway sneaker. I don't know where you're gonna go with this because you already pulled out your Chicago's unless you pull out I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So let's just see what you got in store. I already know what I'm going to choose though. All right, go grab them right now. The time is ticking and I don't know where Chance is. So I'm pretty sure this is just, it's literally his category and he just can't seem to pick a shoe. So. All right, ready? Oh, he's back now. Three, two, one. All right, for me, if you guys couldn't tell uh, what my favorite OG colorway is, uh, definitely the Jordan 1 Chicago. But if you want to get technical and say that I cannot use the same shoe twice, even though I'm not, if you want to say like, okay, maybe pick a different shoe because you already used this one, I'm going to grab like a little honorable mention or like a backup pair, I guess I would say. The Bread 4. In my humble opinion, I think that this sneaker, the Bread 4, is better than the White Cement 4s. Uh, I just got to go with the white cement because for one, a supporter sold me these at a sneaker event a long time ago and probably my favorite OG colorway that I own. I love Jordan 4s. Love this colorway. It's probably the best Jordan 4 colorway of all time. Kind of hard not to put in the best OG colorway category. And for our last category, we obviously said it was going to be our favorite sneaker. And I won't even say that it has to be our favorite sneaker, just a cool sneaker that we kind of want to show off or don't really get to show off too much, or it could literally just be your favorite sneaker. So without further ado, let's get into this last category and pull it right now. All right. Three, two, one um for me i definitely got to go with the air jordan one shadows it's literally one of those shoes like he was calling back to on his great jordan fives this is one of the shoes that kind of got me back into sneakers i was a big sneaker fan in like middle school and then got homeschooled halfway through middle school didn't really wear sneakers anymore so when i got back to high school these dropped and i got these for retail and wore these like every single day of high school and it kind of got me back into the sneaker game so yeah that's why i got to go with these got a lot of love for this shoe what do you got chance i got too many shoes to pick one i would not consider this my favorite shoe but these are the shoes that i've been wearing the most recently okay so so before i'm gonna cut you off right here you gotta choose one which one are we choosing for the list i had to choose one i gotta pull out a different shoe what are you doing you're just bending the rules here but whatever dude i'm making in the rules this sneaker right here has been my favorite recently just because of how much i have been wearing these uh, i wanted these for a long time i finally got them and i literally wore these like every day in new york and these are just like now in my rotation and i wear these very frequently now i'm not even mad at you but i i really feel like you cheated this entire video well, you said to pull out your favorite sneaker. I have five variants of my favorite sneaker and I've already used that. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, as of right now, these three are probably my most worn in my collection. So that would be like my favorite right now. So that wrapping it up, let me know in the comments who you guys think won. But if I truly had to guess, I'm just gonna have to give it a chance. Chance cheated in too many ways in this contest. That's okay. I mean, I had the home field advantage. He had to cheat somehow, some way. I'm watching this video back, editing it, and there's no outro, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I am so sorry for taking a huge break off YouTube. After you see this video, we will not be taking any more breaks. We'll be posting at least once a week. So thank you guys for coming out to today's video. With all that being said, let me know who won in the comments below, and I'm out. Peace.